as the chair deems appropriate as per the availability of witnesses. And as to the reasoning, Mr. Chair, I think it's self-explanatory. I think this uh, allows for the best approach in terms of organizing future meetings, uh, leaving it in your hands and uh, the hands of those uh, who uh, help organize meetings on the clerk's side, I, I think would be uh, quite, uh, quite useful. Thanks okay, uh, motions on the floor. Mr. Uh, Polyev uh, and anybody else, just put your hand up. Mr. Polyev. Your mute's on, uh, Pierre. To be clear, Mr. Chair, um, uh, I, I, ho I hate to, to ruin your momentary flattery, but Minister, Mr. Fragiscatus's motion does not empower you uh, to do anything. Uh, if you look at the wording, it says subject to the availability of the witnesses. So effectively, it empowers them to decide when they come and for how long. We've never done that before. That's completely unprecedented, where we just say, hey, a witness can come whenever he wants and for however long he wants. Uh, that is, uh, so this motion would be unprecedented in my 16 years in Parliament. Um, now, we can haggle over it all we want, but here's the bottom line. The Kielbergers are coming for four hours. They may come tomorrow for four hours, or the Liberals on the committee might choose to talk us through the night. but. The opposition has a majority, and we are going to compel sufficient testimony to get the answers. So if, they, if, the, if liberals want to uh, talk out the clock, as they've done in other committees, uh, in order for the witnesses to only appear for an hour or two more, or an hour and a half, or something like that, that's fine. We'll just invite them back again, and maybe a third time, so that we get an accumulative period uh, to cover the questions that need answering. Uh, right now, the uh, Kielbergers are offering to come for, I think originally it was an hour, now it's an hour and a half. Once you've had a couple of opening statements, um, you burn through that in no time. Um, this is a massive uh, uh, undertaking. We need to ask uh, a lot of questions. And so uh, there's no uh, chance that we're going to allow an hour and a half hearing for two witnesses of this uh, who are qu so, so quintessential to the discussion. Um, I understand, I've heard uh, that they want to include a third witness now who would, uh, in that, those proceedings. That would then burn up uh, a tremendous amount of time uh, in opening statements alone. So that's obviously not acceptable uh, to the official opposition. I won't speak for the other two opposition parties, but I suspect it's not acceptable to them either. So uh, we do need to have the Kielbergers for at least four hours tomorrow. And if the, the government wants to finagle a procedural trick to prevent that from happening, then we'll have to invite the Kielbergers burgers back for more testimony later on. Uh, so I take it you're speaking against uh, that motion. Who's next? All right. Um, Again, the, with respect, Mr. Chair, uh, you had originally scheduled the Kielbergers for an hour. Um, that's obviously unacceptable. So um, the committee is the master of its own domain and uh, the chair serves the committee. Um, committee believes it needs four hours, then the committee needs four hours. Uh, so that, that's as simple as it is. Um, and uh, to have the um, witnesses effectively effectively dictate through the chair how much time they're prepared to testify uh, is not how uh, we do business. If committee members are unhappy with how uh, scheduling and, and timing of witnesses works, they have the power to vote accordingly, and I uh, implore the committee to do that here. There will be a ballot for the leadership and deputy leadership of the Labour Party at 4 Today, in the meantime, I'm also against. I'm also against. Motion. Mr. Chair. Yeah, motion is uh, is lost. Uh, can we uh, then come back? Uh, okay, go ahead. The floor is yours, uh, Mr. Polyev. I have a motion that Craig Kielberger and Mark Kiel. Kielberger up here for no less than four hours on Tuesday, July 28th. 
um, if the committee chooses for four, um, I will I will send that request their way and, and we'll see whether or not they, they can meet that. Um, I, I, I won't know until I, I check with them. Mr. Chair. Go ahead, uh, Mr. McLeod. Mr. Chairman, I, I'd just like to ask uh, Ms. Paulia why he feels we should add three more hours to the uh, presentation on top of the one hour that was previously planned? Uh, the answer is that we have a lot of questions. Uh, this is an extraordinary circumstance. Uh, we have an organization that has given over $300,000 in benefits to the Prime Minister's family, uh, $41,000 in uh, pre-travel to the Finance Minister's family, uh, given jobs to members of the Finance Minister's family, and in exchange, and it's going to take hours to ask that. extraordinary um, uh, benefits from the public treasury uh, got uh, extraordinary access to Parliament Hill on one of the most coveted days of the year to have that access. That had uh, received uh, saw its its contributions from the government rise tenfold under the government and received a half a billion dollar contribution agreement, very unusual contribution agreement. Um, and uh, so yeah, and there's a, it's a it's an organization that is facing many questions. So we think it's appropriate to call and have all those questions answered. Uh, I see uh, Ms. Zerowitz has her uh, hand up. Uh, I think Mr. Fragiskakos was before me, uh, Mr. Chair. Oh, I didn't see him. Uh, we'll go with you first anyway. We'll oh, okay. go with Ms. Zerowitz <laughs> and then uh, Mr. Fragiskakos. Thank you. Uh, so I, I have, um, I, if, if the, if uh, the uh, Kielbergers are, are available tomorrow for four hours, uh, I think that's fine. Um, my question is, if they're not available, do we just take them for an hour and a half tomorrow and then we have to find another time for them and would it be this week or when they are next available? How, well, how does that work? I guess uh, <laughs> um, that would be a matter of, uh, of, of discussion between the uh, the clerk and the uh, Kielbergers to see how much time they could avail themselves tomorrow and we'd have to make up the difference uh, at another time. I mean, the 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 committee has, the, they would know this, the committee has the power of subpoena if we uh, if we need to go that far, we don't, uh, we we would hope we don't have to. Uh, Mr. Fragus got us. So I think it'd be a matter of discussion, Julie, between the uh, clerk and the... Uh, a... Um a scandal that has gripped the nation uh, regarding a $500 million con now cancelled contribution agreement for which two ministers, including the Prime Minister, have admitted a conflict of interest. I think something of that enormity would uh, merit their time. I, I don't know if they, if they have, you know, some other engagement they had planned. Perhaps they could reschedule it for the Parliament of Canada. Uh, and as for four hours, I mean, I remember Jody Wilson Rabel testified for. I think it was more than four hours and it was grilled by liberal members who had no problem uh, keeping her before committee that length of time. So it's strange that they are now concerned about such a time frame for the Kielberger brothers. So I, I don't want to have to do a, a subpoena, but uh, I will if necessary. We do have that power and they're going to have to testify for the four, four hours at least. Uh, they might as well get it done tomorrow. Okay, I think uh, that's well known, Mr. Fraser. Um, yeah, I don't think we're at a subpoena stage yet either. And it, uh, we, we seem to be, um, for, for something there doesn't seem to be big disagreement on, we seem to be talking in circles. May I propose that you... Uh... There will be a ballot for the leadership and deputy leadership of the Labour Party at 4.30 today. In the meantime, take a short.